Hello, students. Let's begin our math session with a prayer. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for your love and care. Thank you for all the wonderful blessings you give us. Thank you for the blessing of life, Father. Please be with those who are hurting or in need. Please be with us during this math lesson. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm going to pause the video while I start sharing my screen. All right, I'm back. All right, today we're going to look at some new material. That material is solving two-step equations. Two-step equations. Keeping in mind that up to this point we've worked with one-step equations. Make sure that you review these items here in order to be able to solve two-step equations. Number one, follow all integer and decimal rules. Number two, make sure you know and understand a two-step equation and its parts. Pause the video if you have not written all these definitions and this uh, top part where it shows where the different parts are. Make sure you know how to solve a one-step equation. One like this one right here. 2 times x equals negative 12. The opposite of multiplication is division. What you do to one side, you must do to the other. 2 over 2 is 1. 1 times x is x. Negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6. You can check it. 2 times negative 6 does equal negative 12. That is your solution. x equals negative 6. Keeping in mind that you could also show your response, your solution on a number line with a point at that location, negative 6. Here's another one-step equation. It's saying x minus 5. The opposite of minus 5 is plus 5. Five. You're adding 5 to each side. These guys, uh, negative 5, positive 5, combine to 0. Cancel out. Copy x equals negative 20 plus 5 is a negative 15. Check it out. Negative 15 minus 5 is a negative 20. So this is the correct solution. You can also show your response on the number line. By placing a point on negative 15. Last thing out, make sure you know order of operations. You know it from here. Going, I'm calling it forward. The four skills we're looking at in particular are these. Multiplication and division. Addition and subtraction. Order of operations going forward. Again, you can always pause the video and complete your notes. You're taking notes. Yes, you're taking notes. Okay, all right. Here is the second page of solving a two step equation. Writing this sentence down. When solving two step equation, Order of ops or order of operations will be used in reverse, 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 reverse. Okay, what does that mean? Watch. Solving two step equations, you will be performing the opposite operations in reverse order. That reverse order means the reverse order of the operations. Let's try it out. If I have an expression like this, according to the forward, the way we know how to do order of operations, we should multiply first, right? In fact, we're going to take 6 by itself and multiply it by 2. 6 times 2 is 12, copying plus 5. Then I'm going to add 5 to 12. 12 plus 5 is 17. And then I have my completed response. Well, when you're solving a two-step equation, you're going to perform the opposite operation in reverse order. Reverse order of what? Of the 
order of operations. So let's do that. So the second thing we did was adding 5. So we're going to start at 17 and we're going to subtract 5 from 17. So starting with 17 down here, minus 5, we're starting with 17, minus 5 is 12. Okay, the reverse, op, reverse order, the, set, the first thing we did, which we're now going to do second, is the opposite of multiply by 2. We're going to divide by 2, 12 divided by 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Did, it, did I end up where I started? Yes. So what am I doing here? I took an expression using order of operations in the forward order and found out that my sum of my expression is 17. Then if I go in reverse, reverse, reverse order of the opposite operations, I walk through, instead of add 5, I subtract 5. The opposite of. The opposite of multiply by 2 is divide by 2. Look, I ended up with 6, which is what is inside that set of parentheses there. Well, instead of having parentheses, you're going to have some unknown. You're going to have an unknown. You're going to have a variable. Let's see how it plays out. The directions are very simply put. Solve. Check. Solve the equation. Check your answer. Ask yourself what's being done to the variable. In this case, x. What's being done to x? It's being multiplied by 2 and then added by 5. So we're going to do the opposite operation in reverse order. So instead of adding by 5, I'm going to subtract each side by 5. These cancel out to 0 or add up to 0. Combine to add up to 0. So I write, then I write 2x, I copy 2x down here, equals 17 minus 5 is my operation. 7 minus 5 is 2, bring down the 1. Okay, oh, we're almost done. Now, we took care of this step. Instead of multiplying by 2, I'm going to do the opposite operation. I'm going to divide each side by 2. What I do to one side, I must do to the other. 2 over 2 becomes 1. Anything over itself is 1. 1 times x is x. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Let's go check it out. 2 times 6 is 12 plus 5. Yes, that is 17. So this is the correct solution. You can show it on the number line. You can show the solution on the number line. You just stop the video and try this one. Okay, now that you've had a chance to try it, let's see what's being done to x. It's being multiplied by negative 3, and it's being added by 5. Reverse, 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 reverse. So we're going to do the opposite operation in reverse order. Okay, instead of plus 5 to each side, we're going to do subtract 5 to each side. Plus 5 minus 5 when combined equals 0. Copy the negative 3x. Copy the equals. Now I have negative 10 minus 5. Change that subtraction to add. The opposite of 5 is negative 5. Negative 10 plus negative 5 is a negative 15. We're almost done. Now, instead of multiplying each side by negative 3, I'm going to divide each side. Why am I dividing? Because the opposite of multiplication is division. 
Anything over itself is 1. 1 times x is x. Negative 15 divided by negative 3 is 5. Let's try it out. Negative 3 times 5 is a negative 15. Negative 15 plus 5 is a negative 10. So this is the correct solution. You can also show your solution on the number line. Very good. Okay. I have another one I want you to try. Again, remember with all of this, you're trying to find out what that unknown is. Now, I've said a lot about what you do to one side, you must do to the other. Think about the essential question for this chapter. What does it mean to say that two quantities are equal? This is a quantity equals another quantity. Think about that essential question. Okay, stop the video, pause the video, I mean, and see if you can do this problem. All right, let's see if we can do this one. What's being done to y? It's being multiplied by negative 2 and subtracted by 7. So we're going to go in reverse, reverse, reverse order. The opposite operation in reverse order. So <clears throat> the opposite of subtract 7 to each side is to add 7 to each side. Negative 7 plus 7 is 0. Copy the negative 2y. Copy the 11. 3 plus 7 is 10. We're almost done. Instead of multiplying by negative 2, I'm going to do the opposite of multiplication, and that is division. Very good. Dividing each side by negative 2. Anything over itself is 1. 1 times y is y. 10 divided by negative 2 is negative 5. Let's check it out. And you know, I haven't written the checks down. If you need or want to, you can. Just like so. You do not have to. Let's see if it works. Negative 2 times negative 5 is a positive 10. 10 minus 7. Does that equal 3? I'm sorry, I should do it down here. Yes, it does. 3 does equal itself. So this is the correct response. And the number line. Looks like so. All right. Well, let me stop sharing my screen. And I want to thank you for being here today. It's been a blessing to spend time with you and for you. You take care. God bless. Remember to take it one moment at a time, and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.